Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about combining or connecting like terms. So, like terms are terms that have the same variables with same exponents. For example, 5x and 3x. These two terms are like terms because they have the same variable with same exponents. This one has a variable with x to the power of 1 and this one the variable is x to the power of 1. So these two terms are like terms. Or let's say 10a squared b and 4a squared b. These two terms are like terms because, again, they have the same variables, a squared b, and this one has a squared b. The exponents are the same, variables are the same. That's why we can say these two terms are like terms, we do not care about the coefficients. They have different coefficients, but that, that's fine. We only care about the variables and the exponents on those variables. Well, let's say seven and I don't know, nine. These two terms are constant terms. We do not have any variables here. So we call these constant terms. And all the constant terms are like terms. So we can say seven and nine are like terms. So it doesn't matter what number are they, like 1,000 and like 439. These two numbers, we call, I can say those are like terms because both of them are constant terms. There is no variable. So we call these constant terms. So all the constant terms, are like terms. These two are like terms. These two are like terms. Let's take a look at this one. 5x cubed y square and 9 or 19x cubed y square. As we said, the coefficient doesn't matter. The variables and the exponent on those variables should be the same. x cubed y square. x cubed y square. So I can say this term and this term, they are like terms. Okay, let's move on. I have a long polynomial here. Let's try to identify the like terms. Okay, 7x cubed y squared. Let's take a look at this term. Let's see in this polynomial, is there any other term with same variable and same exponent? Let's take a look. This one has x, y, but the, the exponents are different. It's one, one, but this is three, two. So it's not a like term. This one, x squared y, is not a like term. This is not. This one, negative three x cubed y squared. Yes, this is a like term because they have the same variable. This is x cubed y squared. This is x cubed y squared. So I can say these two terms are like terms. How about this one? No, it's not. This one is not, and that's a constant term. No, it's not. So I can say, 7x cubed y squared and negative 3x cubed y squared. These two terms are like terms. Okay, let's find more like terms. Let's take a look at this one. Negative 9xy. I have to find other terms in this polynomial with same variables and same exponents. x to the power of 1, y to the power of 1. This one is not a like term. This is not this one. Yes, this is a like term with negative 9xy and positive 5xy. They have the same exponent, uh, same variable with same exponent. So I can say these two are like terms. So I can say this is our color. So this one, this one are like terms. So negative 9xy and 5xy, they are like terms. How about this one? 4x squared y. This is not this one. Yes, this term has the same variable with same exponent. So I can say 4x squared y and negative 2x squared y, they are like terms. So I say 4x squared y and negative 2 x squared y, they are like terms. How about 
Let's see what the, okay, yeah, we have this constant terms as well. Say this one and this one. Both are constant term, and we said all the constant terms are like terms. So I can say eight and negative four are like terms. That's how we identify like terms. Let's move on. Adding or subtracting like terms. So when we add and subtract like terms, we need to keep the variables the same and add or subtract the coefficients. Let's do examples. 5x plus 4x, these two terms are like terms. They have the same variable with the same exponent. So I want to add these two terms. So when we're adding like terms, we said we keep the variable the same and we add up the coefficients. So 5 plus 4 is 9 and the same variable, 9x. That's our answer. How about this one? 4a squared plus 3a squared. Again, when we're adding like terms, we keep the variable the same and we add up the, expo the coefficients. 4 plus 3 is 7, a to the power of 2. That's our answer. How about this one? 11a cubed b minus 5a cubed b. These two are like terms. So I'm subtracting like terms. So what should I do? I have to keep the variable the same and subtract the coefficients. 11 minus five is just six, a cube b. This is our answer. Okay, combining or collecting like terms. When we, want, when we have a polynomial, we wanna combine or collect like terms. We do it in two steps. The first step, we have to rearrange like terms into groups. So that means just put the like terms beside each other. And then we add or subtract the like terms. Let's solve this example. 9x minus 3 plus 5x plus 6. So the first step says uh, rearrange like terms into groups. So let's do that. So this 9x and this 5x, they are like terms. So I have to put them in group. I have to write them beside each other. So let's do that. 9x plus 5x. And then I have this constant term and this constant term. I have to write them beside each other as well. So negative 3 and plus 6. So that is step number one is done. So step two, add or subtract like terms. So 9x plus 5x, we're adding two like terms. I keep the variable the same and I add the coefficients. 9 plus 5 is 14, and it's just x, 14x. And negative 3 plus 6 is just positive 3. So that is our answer. Let's do another example. 5x squared plus 3 minus 8x plus 11x minus 3x squared. Again, the first thing we need to do is to rearrange like terms into groups. So let's do that. And there is something I need to mention. When we're rearranging the like terms into groups, just start with highest degree terms and do it in an order of decreasing in degree. So always the highest degree term on the left. And as you go to the right, we will have the lower degree terms. So let's say I started this one, 5x squared. This as my highest degree term. So 5x squared and this one, negative 3x squared, they are like terms because they have the same variable with the same exponent. So let's put them in group, put them beside each other. 5x squared minus 3x squared. And then 8x, negative 8x and positive 11x, they are like terms put them beside each other. So I have negative 8x plus 11x. And we have this constant term, which is alone. There is no like terms with this one. So I just write it down, plus 3. That's a step number one. A step number two says we have to add or subtract the like term. So these two are like terms, we said. So let's subtract them. 5x squared minus 3x squared. 
we keep the variable the same and we subtract the coefficients. Five minus three is just two x squared. Negative eight x plus 11 x, that's just, so negative eight plus 11 is just three, so positive three x. And then I have that plus three over here. So this is our answer. So that's how we combine or collect light. Thank you for watching.